Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. This is not a tutorial nor a devlog, but I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about other stuff than that. In this video I want to show you some of my cancelled game dev projects before programming Asaria. I stopped developing these games because I had no more motivation or there was no time for me at bottlenecks in production, so the projects fell into oblivion. Because real life takes priority. Solo development of a game is really not that easy, not only because you have to do all aspects from game design over sound to programming yourself, no, you have to find the time and the motivation to work on a game again after a normal working day and much more. I will just show a couple of these because some of them I already threw to the trash bin years ago and some are really not that interesting. I also noticed that only very few people who watch my videos have also subscribed, so do me a favor and subscribe to this channel if you like my videos. Thanks. And after that, let's not waste any more time and dive right into my cancelled game dev projects. Okay, let's look at a really really old one. This uh, doesn't even have a name, it's called <laughs> Survival Game and actually it's, it's not even anything about survival now, it's just super 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 basic it's just a character walking from left to right and it looks to the cursor sweet pretty sweet uh and uh yeah <laughs> that's it okay there's a there's a word generation uh, we can see right here that the whole island is uh generated using a noise um map permanent noise i guess and yeah that's it um there are trees but i think uh they're not even working, you can't even uh, yeah, do something with them. So yeah, this is <laughs> a pretty old game which I have uh, cancelled. This game I called Hunters and Gatherers uh, at first, but uh, then I <laughs> decided to cancel it because, okay, you see, it's super, super, super <laughs> uh, bloomy. It's, it's really not that sharp. I, uh, I uh, used a bunch of post-processing for it, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you see, um, the colors are not matching, the whole graphic is not that good. And also, as you can see, <laughs> like in my game Asaria, um, the whole player modeling stuff is uh, a catastrophe. And you see, it's working, it's, it's working great. It's working, yeah, nice, nice, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> As you can see, um, the whole game is <laughs> uh, totally not buggy. Uh, yeah, uh, this was, uh, um, I think, a prototype of my game Asaria at first, uh, where I, uh, yeah, tried something out. Uh, but you see, this is this is not really a big thing. Um, but the whole the whole mechanics and I think also the pickup mechanic and the player move mechanic and so on and so on um, is working at least also highlighting the items that can be picked up but as you can see the whole the whole thing in general is, is super buggy but if you want I can provide a source code of any of these games in the video description. If so, then please leave a like and please write in the comments that I should add the source code in the video description. Then I can read this and take action. Thank you. Coming to my next cancelled game is a video game. Uh, yeah, an idle game. As you can see uh, with offline earnings. And I think this is a game where I was uh, quite far uh, in the production. But didn't uh, really uh, get it to Google Play Store or something like that. It's just a, a little merch idle game where we can... Oh, oh, it really got sound. So it's an idle game where you can uh, drag and drop uh, these monsters uh, around and also drag them <laughs> over each other so they are getting merged. And you get a small bonus if you're... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you can merge a bunch of little monsters um, together in a short period of time. And you can also buy new spaces so you can uh, yeah, breed new of these monsters. I think I was really, 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 really far with this one. And I can also buy some new units. And let's have a look. Nice. <laughs> Doesn't seem too bad, uh, I think. Um, 
yeah, I do not even know <laughs> why I didn't uh, really yeah upload this one to Google Play Store as it is indeed ready. Of course, uh, it might have a few little bugs, but this is a game uh, I never, never brought over the finish line. And that's quite sad. And uh, most of my projects were not that good, <laughs> obviously, but had uh, a bit of charm and... Yeah, we're, we're quite in a well-developed stage. Let's also have a look at this one. This was my first uh, strategy game uh, I was working on. Uh, as you can see, I it didn't come that far. Um, but it, it's, it's kind of working nicely. You can select these units. You can say, okay, go to this and that position. And when I remember correctly, I also had implemented some kind of uh, tree cutting system. Yeah, if you... Okay, and now they automatically search in trees near the peasant or near the unit and are taking action. Nice. Also, uh, in the bottom right corner, there's a mini map. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, obviously, <laughs> it's uh, upside down. Uh, but you see little, little, little uh, uh, creatures, little units there. Um, and all these units are searching for yeah new trees in their yeah in their nearest uh, position nice uh, but that's everything <laughs> i got working as you can see i really got uh, plenty of ideas and start them with fresh energy um, because I got a new shiny object and think, oh yeah, that's the holy grail, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then, uh, yeah, cancelling my uh, Game of Dreams pretty quick. So I am uh, also a little bit surprised about my progress in uh, Saria. <laughs> uh, because I didn't uh, really thought at the beginning that this uh, little hobby project, uh, Saria I'm talking about, is... Uh, they had long in production, uh, in development, and yeah, I kind of like it. And uh, I also uh, want to thank you guys for, uh, yeah, watching these videos, my devlogs about this area, and yeah, I'm interested in the topic. Thank you at this point. I also managed to create a game uh, which also plays on a little island. And you can move the player around, you can uh, pick up items, you can drop items, you have a whole inventory uh, which can move around. And you see the little player has also a little um, sword in his hand. This should have been a little RPG game, um, a little yeah, fantasy-like. Uh, you see a little portal there and if you go in the portal you can be spawned to another city and so on and so forth. Um, I didn't uh, really make progress there because, as always, uh, there was a lack of motivation and this was not yeah, the right way to do it. The approach I went for was really, really bad. And yeah, this is why I abandoned it. But I think it's uh, looking really cute. I love these uh, low poly uh, models. As you might have noticed in the whole video, uh, most of my games have uh, low poly um, yeah, models, uh, the style of it was really, really low poly, but I, li I like the style. It's it's something like uh, I can uh, I can also do with Blender. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it kind of fits to the whole environment. The last cancel project in this video is a little cave game where you can move a player around some caves. It uh, kind of uh, is an alternative <laughs> or should have been an alternative to Isaac, the Binding of Isaac. And you can uh, move your character uh, through some caves and fight against enemies and the enemies drop something, drop items, drop coins, uh, which uh, you can use to buy some yeah, accessory for your character or something like that. And also you can find treasures um, yeah, to, to level up your character either. And also there were some special items with some special effects like a magnet or uh, something like that. And also I created a little cutscene, so the player has a bit of a story uh, for that. And I think this was uh, the masterpiece I created because there were randomly generated worlds uh, with uh, yeah, some biomes, there was water, there was lava. And uh, also there was a bow system, bow and arrow system. The enemies had a quite nice AI 
And I think this was, <laughs> yeah, if I can say, the masterpiece of uh, things I've done. Uh, and I really, really, really like this game, but unfortunately I do not have the files. Um, I ended the development, uh, of course, <laughs> as it always was, um, because of time pressure. And also uh, then with that, this goes hand in hand with uh, the lack of motivation. And also, um, this was at the beginning of my programming career, so I did not have heard of anything like uh, Git or something like that, a version control, so all these files are lost on a uh, hard drive, which I've lost, or I don't know where these files are. I, I've lost them, <laughs> honestly. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad about it, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, this was a little presentation about some <laughs> of my cancelled game dev projects. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then smash the like button. And if you do not want to miss any updates on my game Asaria, see devlogs or want to see tutorials or other uh, game dev stuff I'm talking about, then please hit the subscribe button. And then we will see us in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.